learn English with Mualimi Academy. Good morning, Mark. How are you settling in on your first week? Good morning, John. I'm doing well, thank you. I'm just trying to get familiar with everything. That's great to hear. The first weeks are always about learning the ropes. Let's start with a tour of the office. This way, you can learn where everything is. That sounds good. I'm especially interested in learning about the property listings and client management. Sure, we can cover that. Over here, we have the property listings board. It displays all the properties we are currently handling, both for sale and for rent. How often do these listings get updated? Daily. It's important to keep track of any changes like price adjustments or new properties coming onto the market. Understood. And what about client meetings? Where do those usually take place? Most of the time, we meet clients in these conference rooms. Sometimes, we go to the properties or meet at a cafe, depending on the client's preference. That makes sense. How do you prepare for a client meeting? Preparation is key. You need to know the property details, understand the client's needs, and have all the relevant paperwork ready. Speaking of paperwork, is there a specific system we use for documentation? Yes, we use a real estate software system. It helps us manage documents, client information, and appointments. I'll set up a session to train you on it. That would be very helpful. What's the most challenging aspect of working in real estate, in your opinion? Well, every job has its challenges, but I'd say handling the expectations of both buyers and sellers can be tricky. You need to be a good negotiator and communicator. I can imagine. Communication skills must be crucial in this field. Absolutely. It's all about building relationships and trust. Let's walk over to the marketing department. They handle our property adverts, social media, and other promotional materials. Marketing seems interesting. Do agents get involved in that? Yes, we often provide input, especially about the key features of properties that should be highlighted in the advertisements. Do we also handle property valuations? Yes, property valuation is a big part of our job. We assess the value of a property based on its condition, location, and market trends. That sounds like it requires a lot of market knowledge. It does, and it's something you'll get better at with experience. Don't worry, we'll guide you through your first valuations. Thank you, John. That's reassuring. What's the usual procedure once we get a new listing? Once we get a new listing, we assess the property, take professional photos, and write up a property description. Then, we upload it to our database and start marketing it. How do we find potential buyers or renters? We have a database of clients looking for properties. We also use online platforms and local advertisements to reach a wider audience. I see. And once someone is interested, what's the next step? We arrange viewings. 
If the client is interested after viewing, we move on to negotiations and eventually to the paperwork for closing the deal. It seems like there's a lot to learn, but I'm eager to get started. You'll learn quickly, Mark. Real estate is a dynamic field, but it's very rewarding. Let's head back to our desks and I'll show you some of the current properties we're handling. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to learning and contributing to the team. With your enthusiasm, I'm sure you'll do great. Welcome aboard, Mark. Good morning, Michael. How are you doing today? Good morning, John. I'm doing well, thanks. And you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Have you had a chance to look at the blueprints for the new bridge project? Yes, I have. There are a few aspects I'd like to discuss with you. Sure. Let's go over them. What's on your mind? First, I'm concerned about the load capacity. According to my calculations, the current design might not be strong enough for heavy traffic. That's a valid point. What do you suggest we do to address this? I think we should consider using stronger materials for the foundation. Maybe reinforced concrete instead of the standard type we've been using. That sounds like a good idea. It might increase the cost, but safety is our priority. What else did you notice? The length of the main span. It's quite long and I'm worried it might cause stability issues, especially in windy conditions. True. Long spans can be challenging. Perhaps we can add more support pillars or think about a suspension design to enhance stability. A suspension design could work well. It would also give the bridge a more modern look. Agreed. Let's draft some modifications and see how it impacts the overall design and budget. Will do. Also, I've been thinking about the environmental impact of the construction. We should try to minimize harm to the nearby river. Absolutely. We need to ensure that our project is environmentally responsible. Maybe we can consult an environmental engineer for best practices. Good idea. I'll arrange a meeting with the environmental team next week. Great. How about the timeline? Do you think we can complete the project within the scheduled deadline? It'll be tight, especially with these changes. We might need to request an extension or increase our workforce. Let's prepare a revised schedule and present it to the management. They should understand the need for flexibility given the scope of our changes. Sure, I'll work on that. By the way, did you see the new software update for our design program? No, I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. Is it worth installing? Definitely. It has some new features that could really help with our bridge design, like advanced simulation tools. Sounds useful. I'll make sure to install it on my computer today. Have you used it yet? I've played around with it a bit. It's quite user-friendly and the simulation results are very insightful. That's good to hear. Efficient tools make our job a lot easier. They sure do. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you, how did you find the engineering conference last week? Oh, the conference was fantastic. 
there were some really innovative ideas presented, especially in sustainable engineering. That's exciting. Sustainability is becoming increasingly important in our field. Absolutely. I attended a workshop on green building materials. It was eye-opening. Sounds like it was worthwhile. Maybe you can share some of the insights in our next team meeting? Sure, I'd be happy to. I think our team could benefit from the latest trends and research. Agreed. Knowledge sharing is key in our line of work. Definitely. Oh, before I forget, are you joining the team for lunch today? We're planning to try that new Italian place nearby. I'd love to, but I have a client meeting over lunch. Maybe next time? No problem. There's always a next time. Good luck with your meeting. Thanks, John. I'll see you later then. See you, Michael. Have a good day. Good morning, Alex. Ready for your first day at the vegetable stand? Good morning, Tom. Yes, I'm a bit nervous, but excited. Where should I start? First things first, let's get familiar with our products. Over here, we have tomatoes, cucumbers, and bell peppers. Can you repeat those names after me? Sure. Tomatoes, cucumbers, and bell peppers. Great! Now let's talk about pricing. Tomatoes are $2 per pound. Cucumbers are $1 each. And bell peppers are one and a half dollars each. How would you tell a customer the price of these vegetables? For tomatoes, I'd say tomatoes are two dollars per pound. For cucumbers, one dollar each. And for bell peppers, one dollar and fifty cents each. Perfect. Now let's do a role play. I'll be a customer and you're the seller. I'll ask for some vegetables, and you help me out. Ready? Okay, I'll give it a try. Hi, I'd like to buy some tomatoes and a cucumber, please. Sure. How many pounds of tomatoes would you like? Let's go with two pounds, please. That would be four dollars for the tomatoes and one dollar for the cucumber. Five dollars in total. Well done, Alex. Always remember to be polite and smile. Customers appreciate friendly service. Got it, Tom. Always be polite and smile. Another important thing is to handle the vegetables carefully. They should look fresh and be in good condition. Can you show me how you would pick up a tomato? Like this? Exactly. Gentle and careful. Now, let's practice some common questions customers might ask. I'll ask and you answer. Are these tomatoes organic? Yes, all our tomatoes are organic. Good. How about, can I taste a grape before buying? Certainly. Let me get a grape for you to taste. Excellent. Remember, it's all about making the customer feel welcome and satisfied. Any questions so far? No, Tom. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Thanks for your guidance. You're welcome, Alex. Just keep practicing and you'll be a pro in no time. Let's have a great day selling fresh vegetables. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe for more similar content in the future. Thank you for your support!